All right, what another Echo Boss? This one will be based on Runic Dragon. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Neutral state. Oh wow, it's really fast too. Fast and tanky. Crap. How much faster do I need to be to just to catch up to some of these bosses? To worry about my MP. So many things to worry about here. Yeah, I, I have my rash. I have my cooldowns reduced quite a bit because I put Need for Speed on her. Yeah, this includes rations. I'm probably gonna need this. Very cool. Focus. Double shot. Uh, this is bad. Blood pack might actually be a bad idea since it drains my MP pretty quickly. I don't want to body slam. Should I use it more often? I don't know if it has any limit break type abilities. Hmm. Damn it, Ryoto is going to be in the most danger here. He runs out of MP really quickly. Hmm. I'm not sure how to go about this type of fight. Hmm. Protection Aura. Embrace, increase defense of the entire party. Wounds. Zero power. I'm not sure. Hmm, this one will cost a lot. Holy fire! Hmm. Mastery. Aqua Chi. Maybe I should put Need for Speed on Trish instead, I don't know. Hmm. Dampen Magic. Poison Chi. Ow! Your power betrays you! 
party has been inflicted with wicked mana. Causing you to take hit point damage equal to 4 to 5 times their missing MP at the end of every turn. Damn it. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Touch. Darkness falls. Ultima. Praise envelops me. Do I have Embrace Toggled? I think I do. Okay. These do not last very long, these buffs. They do that. Have I already wounded you? Yes, I... I think I did. Hmm. Should use Berserker Stance. Shoot. Obliterate. All right. Hmm. Step and endure just in case. I already applied Poison, Chi, and Dampen Magic, so I need to use Flaming Chi. And Shatter Armor. Oh shit! Gah! Alright, let's use Barrage, son. That, would that be safe? Hmm. Shadow Slice. Let's stay six. Darkness falls. Blood burst. Hmm.
Mate. Aqua Chi. Oh, this is bad. Overloaded. You will attack a total of three times per turn and train additional MP. You will also be more vulnerable to damage. Damn, this is really bad. While my stuff is cooling down, I should consider using some rations. Blurration. Darkness falls. All team up. Oh man. Group heal. Okay. Smite. Hmm. Win Chi. Oh shit! Ah! Crap, I can't keep my mind up, up enough. Holy shit! Gonna need to toss a heal. Don't worry you guys, we got this. I don't feel like I got it at all, dude. Ah. Why? Mm. Garage. How are we supposed to do this fight such an extended battle against this thing? Damn. Drain is taking too long to regen. Hmm. Wound is still applied. Mass prayer. Oh man, we are not go doing very well right now. Uh, 
Your MP is mine for the take, King. He reap. What did he do? Wicked Mana, he must have reapplied it or something. Hmm. Rations, that is my lifeline here. Yeah, I need to reapply vampirism. Okay, bite slam. This is gonna be a long day. Heal. Your power. Radiant. Um. Having a hard time generating those over shields. I'm not sure what I can do here. Neutral state. He's weaker, but now he takes less damage. Well, that works for me. That gives me a chance to recover my own s resources. Ow. Ugh. <sighs> Wyvern Strike. I use Slow Down. Hmm. We still have a Soul Trigger left. Let's save that one for later. This stasis. Overcharge. Dealing back some MP. Haha. -ha. All team up. Praise envelop her. Okay. Don't need to wound you yet.
God damn it. My mana upkeep is looking pretty bad right now. Aqua Chi. Doesn't do nearly enough in group mode. Uh. Let's see. Winchi is really all I can do against you right now, huh? Ah! Damn it, it's all the hell. Soul Trigger. Don't worry, guys, we got this. Instinct. Damn it. Need more shields. Ugh. Mm. Idol Tantra. Guy and Tide. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh shit. I'm barely hanging in there. Well, my barrage is cooling down. Hmm. Get some rations to keep our MP a little higher. Better than nothing. Obliterate. We're more than halfway. We just need to keep it up somehow. Overcharge. Ultima. Hmm. 
Mm. That's prayer. Did any of my good stuff cool down yet? Nah. Shoot. I really hope I can farm Need for Speed at some point. I feel like a lot of these characters really need it. Hmm. Let's see. If you have Smite's Blessing, maybe I should hold out on that. Maybe I should just save MP by using a normal attack. Since he doesn't do much damage anyways. But then, Smite's Blessing would probably give- uh, Smite would give me more shields. A tough choice. Anything you need here? Let's see. Nature's Bounty. I feel like it's too soon for that, isn't it? It's once per, per, once per battle, though. Hmm. Ah! No! Oh shoot, he's overloaded! Barrage! If I use the Vice Slam, that'll reduce his damage a bit, huh? Alright. Let's obliterate him. Uh. There goes my TP. God damn it, Drain is still cooling down. I don't need to replay Vampirism. Dark Blast it is. Might blessing everyone. Uh. Now just smite him. Nature's bounty. Oh, that also gives her a lot of her... Huh. I probably, I probably should have saved that. Shoot. Hmm, what should I do here? It... Maybe good to have her defend. Hmm. Watch as he never targets Trish. Or rarely targets her. Ow. Your MP is mine for the taking. Looks like a perfect time for Soul Trigger and Rations. How many blueberries do I even have left? I can't believe I'm actually gonna run out of these. Oh, fuck me. Drain, you're so slow, why? Oh shit. Vitality. Uh. 
Uh, I need to re-wound you. Oh, here. No! Ow! So much head points. Uh. What do I do now? Just win she? Owie! I need to reapply cripple shot. That's a lot of hit point cost. Now you have dealt over a hundred K. Not bad. Elixirs of powers, I'm almost out. Yes, re randomly restart and peel the bit. Ow! We're gonna die. We somehow survived! But damn, that hurt a lot. Russians. Broken pact. Oh, shoot. They have to obliterate.
See Divine Aegis. Smite. Gets mana. Okay, mastery. Winchy. Another. Oh no! Gotta keep this up! Arrgh. I'm to slay. Overcharged. Grace of Elf will envelop me. Uh. We're almost there. I can feel it. They'll obliterate you. Uh. Okay, what should I do? I should go and tide so that sh I can maintain a debuff. Use Tidal Tantra to restore MP. Uh oh. Oh shit, Minerva's almost dead. Oh man, I don't this is probably gonna be my last soul trigger. Garage. We're almost there. Darkness falls. Dark blast. Uh, smite.
Aqua Chi. I feel like go going all out this time. Win Chi. Four. As long as I survive this turn, I can win. Level up! We're at the cap now! That means I get the achievement prizes. That was actually easier than the R2, mainly because while the MP thing is annoying, the boss does not have any limit break style attacks. As long as you know how to do the Battle of Attrition, it's perfectly doable. Level up 5, and Trophy Hunter free. There's that was, the boss quote at the, right before the battle just kind of came out of nowhere. I thought I was going to say something really ominous, but instead... Eh. Infinity Necklace, who should I give it to? Oh wow! This is pretty OP. Brahmin Bangle. Brahmin Bangle is weaker than Infinity Necklace in pretty much every way possible, isn't it? To Infinity and Beyond, huh? Hmm. How do I divvy up all my stuff now? This is a tough question. Hmm. Damn. I'm gonna spend like all day just trying to figure out my equipment setup. I had to use up a lot of power potions for that battle, though, so... I'm not sure I'd want to farm that one, considering I can beat the other two while using less power potions. Anything new to say to me? I see that you have successfully charged another seal. Are most people from your dimension as powerful as you are? Not really. Except for a handful of people. The Supremes, probably. What do you mean by that? Well, there are regular civilian humans with no combat training. They're also magi with various levels of actual combat strength. There's a special group of magically infused ninja warriors called the Treno Guardians, and then there are some completely crazy blood magic using magi. Crazy blood magic using magi, you say? Yes. It's a group of magi who practice a very dangerous and forbidden magic led by this extremely powerful supreme magi named Azale. Ah. That does sound like quite the dangerous enemy. Yes. He is a very evil man. I actually managed to get a, a, a get him approved for the complete monster page. He started a war against the ma major of our world and has killed many people over the years. We're going to put a stop to him, after we do this bonus dungeon, of course. I assume that you being here is distracting you from your quest to defeat this man? Actually, yes. To be fair, the, whatever is weighing behind that door is probably on par or higher <laughs> with a Zale. But now that we're here, I think it's, a clear, it's clear that a world de devouring beast is a little more dangerous than a murderous psychopath. Well, allow me to put your minds at ease. Time runs differently in this dimension. Oh good, I would wager that all the time you spent here is only a couple of minutes back in your world. Plus, we already know that Azale is already just waiting for us, trying to trap us in his soul. He's not going to make any big moves until he gets rid of us. Really? Indeed. I'm sure you've noticed that this dimension is falling apart at the seams. That's because this wretched beast not only devours the physical world, but everything in it, including time itself. Wow. That's pretty frightening. 
How are we supposed to stand up to something like that? Once we get these seals charged, we'll just have to hope for the best. Oof. That sounds reassuring. Don't fret. I will not make you face that creature alone. Are you going to be an assist character? Not after what it did to my sisters and my world. We'll work together to take it down. You got it. Anyways, allow me to activate the next seal for you. May the Seraph's Blessing guide your hand in battle. I heard that once you beat four of them, you're cleared for C rank, and that will get you the C rank achievement. Of course, the next rank after that will recommend a higher power level. Sadly, the uh, Terrellford does not sell any power potions, but I do need to buy blueberries after all the ones I used up with rations. Heal me! Alright. Next chest. Uh, so how exactly does this treasure chamber work? Won't we run out of chests eventually? What will happen then? Do we? Does that mean that maybe once we clear the first uh, uh, group of chests, maybe the next chest will contain even better treasures and more and more and more and so on and so forth until we can like farm a full set of gear with just one chest. That would be very nice. I would appreciate that a lot, but I highly doubt it's going to work that way. That would be too convenient. 34 crystals. What? Hold up. Is it random? How random is it? 38! It is random! It's like gacha! I better reload until I get the result I want. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Eternal Twilight's bonus content, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.